Are you looking to be in the pristine area of San Antonio, drop a bag and live that exquisite rancher lifestyle, but still have that community feel? Well, we're out here just past the rim where all the action is happening, where all the growth is going and where everybody wants to be here in San Antonio. I got a brand new Coventry home that's brand new on a 0.25 acre lot. You're not going to want to miss it. So if you're ready to buy your home, you can actually stop watching. Information's right here. Get in contact. But if not, stay tuned and let's see if you want to buy this home. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so today I'm taking you on an inventory tour. This is a Coventry build out here in Fair Oaks, pristine area of San Antonio. One thing you're gonna notice right off the bat, look how wide this home is. Especially on one stories guys, the wide homes, I'm telling you, there's just something about it. Usually when you go to sell a property, you got a one story and it's wide. I feel like they sell easier, just a, a hint. But on this, you have a nice brick exterior. It's already got gutters. It's got some real nice architecture with these little notches kind of overlooking. You get a huge front covered patio, still gives it that farmhouse house style look. Cause you got some side in here, but still with the strong brick accents. And guys, if there's inclement weather, you don't gotta worry cause you got a big front covered patio. If you like to see what's up with the neighborhood, check out all the cheese, man. You have a couple chairs right here and a couple chairs right here. Sipping your tea, minding your own business, smoking a cigar for all my gentlemen out there however you want to do it out here okay of course you get a nice wooden door with some glass paneling in it just to add to that architecture flavor to it and of course upon your entrance usually if you've earned this lifestyle with a beautiful property just like this of course you got the french double doors right here with the glass paneling typically indicating that this is a study or an office there is no closet however if you needed to convert it into a bedroom you could do that guys use some stands get creative right of course you're gonna notice you have this natural wood floor finish throughout the main areas of the home okay and down this hallway as you make your way into the property this is where you're gonna send everybody to do their poop opportunity this is the guest bathroom okay so if you're hosting send everybody here guys please 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 make sure you're using the guest bathroom in your friends homes don't be weird okay wait your turn over here you have one of the first secondary bedrooms. Notice how the ceilings are still elevated in these bedrooms. They don't, you know, come lower just because it's a bedroom. You do get a walk-in closet, which again, also has some elevated ceilings. So if you're a kid with some drip, which a lot of you guys these days tend to have, don't worry about it. Sneaker collection, everything. You can have your own version of the master closet, okay? Right here, this is Jack and Jill. So you get your own vanity sink right here, okay? White, white countertops, white cabinets, right? You get some nice architecture in the doors as well. Here's your facilities. Here's the tile combination that they went with and a tub. And it actually has a nice accent window. You know how we feel about the accent windows in the bathrooms. Creme de la creme, right? Over here, again, same thing, cause it's Jack and Jill. We don't discriminate. So you can either do Jack and Jill or Jill and Jack, whichever suits your fancy. Here's another front secondary bedroom. This one overlooks the front of the property. This house already comes with blinds in it. So that'll save you a couple thousand instead of having to do it yourself. And of course, every secondary bedroom on a property like this, as you would expect, it's going to have a walk-in closet okay they did not skimp on this design shout out to coventry this is a great one-story floor plan that they built for you guys okay so you come back out of this hallway and i love how wide this entryway is too you could fit a table right there it's not going to feel super crammed up it's got some adequate spacing to it you make your way into the grand open kitchen and living concept right you get wood beams right here in the tray ceiling nice little touch check out the black backsplash that they went with on the fireplace itself this is a gas burning fireplace so if that's your thing rest assured you got something for it right you get a nice little outlet floor plug right here so you can sneak some wires through with some lamps of course oversized kitchen island quartz countertop some nice fixtures pendant lighting i mean guys this is what you expect on a home of this type of stature it's four side masonry okay so they're not skipping on it you have your walk-in pantry right here for all the midnight snack cravings. You know, for me, it's Sour Patch and Topo Chico. Here's a cutout for your fridge. Imagine your fridge being there. You get a nice kind of like a uh, beige, light gray with some hints of brown in these cabinets. And of course, guys, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. They went ahead and put the glass boxes on top. You know how I love that. Right here, you got a nice electric cooktop right here. It makes it look smooth, sleek. You got a nice herringbone or chevron tile pattern right here for the backsplash on the actual kitchen. Nice venting range hood as well. And guys, the built-in, built-in, built-ins. You know how we feel about built-ins. It just adds the it just adds to elevate the facade of the inside of this property, right? You get a deep all metal farm sink, no divider. So it's plenty of open space and a nice, you know what I'm saying? In case you wanna wash your veggies. You know, some of you like to do that, right? Rinsing our cottage cheese. Dishwasher right there, but don't know anybody who uses it, okay? 
right here this is really this is really cool you might be wondering like why is this so low i've hit my head many times on these things but it's because a table goes right here and you should never actually get close enough to hit your head on it right but come closer what i want you to check out is right here in the dining room more architecture you have a cathedral ceiling with a nice added beam and you got some nice big bay windows to allow that natural light to seep in while you're doing your gatherings right your mafiosos and a nice little accent window on top just a nice added little flavor to this property and right here kind of tucked away is your media room or your game room or your second living area there's a couple of different things you can do for you, you could put a pool table here you could do a tv setup right here and a big couch it's really however your imagination can see it you do get a tray ceiling in here too and they already went ahead and put the ceiling fan so you can keep it cool. You got some nice accent windows up here too. Again, anytime you see some windows in rooms that don't really need it, those are just nice little touches that builders can add to add flavor to the property, okay? I love how they have this cutout right here in the actual living room too. So that's where your console and your TV could go or you could put it up here. Just make sure when you drill into this tile, somebody knows what they're doing, get the right person, okay? Right here is gonna be the last remaining secondary bedroom carpet in here, but this one actually has its own ensuite. So this is the mother-in-law suite, the junior suite, because boom, look at that right there. Get your own vanity sink with a different color cabinet and you get a different color switch up on the tile, but it is a walk-in shower. So style points to Coventry for that. Check it out, super tall ceilings. And of course, this overlooks the front of the property. So you get that nice front view, okay? And of course, as I mentioned, every bedroom in this home will have at least some form of a walk-in closet. Don't believe me? Did I just walk in or did I not? I'll let you be the judge, okay? Moving forward, of course, down this hallway over here. This is standard, just some closet space, right? You gotta have a coat closet for when people come in. But right here, this is cool. This is your mud room area, of course. If it's rainy, whatever, you got dirt on your boots. You come in through the garage right here, you set it right here so that way you keep the rest of these beautiful wood floors from getting dirty. I have wood floors in my home and they get very dirty, so that's very nice to have. And right here is where you'll be doing all of your laundry, getting all your drip freshened up, fresh linen, smell dryer sheets, all of that good stuff. Side by side, full size washer and dryer. You don't gotta do the stackables. And you got some storage space right here to hide all the goodies that you use when you're cleaning and getting dripped up, okay? Probably wondering what does the garage look like? Let's just take a quick peek at it real quick. Check this out. You get a full three car garage. You're like three car garage, I only see one or two cars right there. But it's actually like two and a half maybe. Two and a half, three car garage because you do have this tandem that kind of extends out right here. So maybe you could fit a motorcycle as well as two cars in this space. I mean, I'll leave it up to you to decide how to do it. But guys, check this out. One, two, two water heaters. So you can run the hot water different people at the same time it's not going to get cold too quick so you don't got to worry about sharing that okay it's always a nice touch that you can have they already put the garage door opener in there so you don't got to worry about installing one yourself okay now we're going to make our way to the last remaining section of the home i know that we've done pretty good timing on this video I appreciate you guys. The channel has been growing and growing and growing. Let's keep it going, guys, right here. As you make your way into the primary tree, you have a little notch cutout right here for some nice portrait or some artwork. Spruce up your home, guys. Give it some flavor, give it some character. As you make your way into the primary suite, check out all these windows so you can have as much natural light as your heart desires. Again, with the tray ceiling, really big space. So king, California king, whatever you wanna do as your setup, don't worry about it. You'll have the space to fit it. And then you make your way through these French double doors into your primary spa day every day. Cause when you're balling out, you gotta have the standalone tub guys. You know how it goes, right? You get the his and her sinks on either side. And look at this magnificent, wonderful, beautiful walk-in shower that you have that opens up on one side, but also on the other side. It's like you dug a hole and then you end up in China. Don't believe me? Check it out. How did I do that? The world may never know, okay? You have this nice accent window right here that overlooks your standalone tub, but, but actually come on in here, into the shower. Check this out. You got one and two areas where you can let the water hit you so you don't have to fight over whoever you're gonna be in here with, over who's got the water flow. Y'all both gonna get your own. And of course, look at these nice accent windows with 
the rain frost coating for all that privacy you need and a nice little notched out thing right here where you're gonna put your soaps and your shampoos and whatnot and they put it in a place where it's hidden so when people come in and see it you don't see these bottles and stuff just all on there like that's kind of gross so my tip is if you want to sell your home guys hide all your stuff that you shower with and stuff like believe me it is an eyesore when people look at that stuff because then they think of somebody else showering there and it's gross you know at least i get that feeling check out the nice tile that they went with it looks like wood but it is actually tile guy and they went with the chevron herringbone pattern for that and of course when you're trying to contain the toxins you have your own private dumper thumper room right there where you can have some of your greatest thoughts some of your million dollar deal closings happen on there okay and you can have somebody in here and somebody in there handling two types of business somebody getting fresh and somebody getting dirty okay over here, you have your jumbo walk-in closet as if you walked into Louis Vuitton or Gucci yourself. You're gonna be getting styled down, dripped down in here every day. You could do one section his, another section hers, but it already has some built-in shelves right here. So you could do the sneaker collection, the bag collection, whatever you wanna show off for all that passion that ignites your fashion. And before I forget, let me show you the cathedral style architecture in these ceilings with the nice little drywall beam and the nice added fixture right there. And of course, if you're wondering where you put your toilet papers and your toilet trees, put it right there. I did not struggle to open that, okay? Hand was a little slippery from all the sweat. Don't judge me, okay? And now, now, we'll lastly wrap it off with the backyard that you will be entertaining and having all of your carne asadas and all your gatherings and all your Thanksgivings and all your Christmases and all your 4th of July parties and all your New Year celebration Eve parties, popping fireworks, popping bottles, drinking cold ones, you know the drill. Come right back out here, check out this nice extended covered back patio. You get the stucco finish in the back, no siding on this one, okay? And boom, look at how wide your lot is. I mean, this is perfectly flat. We got soccer coming up. The World Cup's coming up in the United States in the next couple years. Guys, you could do a soccer net right there, a soccer net down there, and you're going to have some busting times. You could throw the football, do some little flag football. I mean, whatever you're going to do and host these games with your family, rest assured you're going to have plenty of space because this is a Texas size approved backyard stamped by Chief Hearns personally. And yeah, all the way fence. This is a corner lot. This one's available, but it won't be available for too much longer. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you, can't thank you enough. I know you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to stick around and be here and watch this video and learn about San Antonio real estate. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in San Antonio, there's only one right way to do so. And that's tapping with Alec Hernandez Realtor. My information is literally right here on both of these ends. I have tons of people reaching out to me, so make sure you're one of those people if you want the absolute best deal possible, baby, and I'll check you out on the next ones. <laughs>